Good morning, everybody. Well, welcome to misery. Actually, it's pretty non-miserable right now. It's been a beautiful day. It was a beautiful weekend. Uh, we got to do lots of things with the nieces and nephews, although they start school tomorrow. So, oh, what fun. I do not miss starting school. But anywho, today's video, let's get right into it. So, if you've seen my videos over the past couple of days. It's all been all about Harley Davidson and um, all the issues they're having right now and just some of my thoughts on those issues. And that's kind of led me to take this video in a different direction. And I need all you guys' input, so help me out with this. So we've talked a lot about what the problems are. And of course, there's more problems than what I've talked about. But now I want to pose the question to you. And a few people have actually brought things like this up. Um, one person, Carl, actually posted, so what if a whole bunch of people got together and they all bought stock in Harley and took the company back over? Now, I'm not a smart enough businessman to understand what that would take, what that would look like. Um, but I mean, I guess it's possible, right? If everybody that owned a Harley bought stock in Harley, um, we would probably be the majority, right? I'm not sure. I haven't looked into that. But, I mean, that's a potential possibility, right? Because the stockholders hold all the power. Like I said, I'm not deep enough into business to understand, and I've never studied how stocks and the board and all that works. But uh, I'm sure there are smarter people out there that are watching this video, or you know smarter people, that could probably explain that to us. But anyway, that was one idea that somebody brought up. And I thought, hmm. That's interesting. I mean, uh, I do know that, uh, you know, Harley, the Harley boys bought Harley back from AMF back in the day. Um, I imagine it could be done. Uh, sure would be nice to see somebody that actually likes motorcycles, knows about motorcycles, and has a passion for motorcycles running the most iconic motorcycle brand of all time. I think that would be a great idea. I just don't know how to make that happen. With that being said, Let's say that did happen, and they appointed you the CEO of Harley-Davidson. What is one thing you would change? What would you change if you were the CEO of Harley-Davidson? Um, I don't need like a huge, long explanation, because there are a lot of things to change, right? But what, what do you feel like is probably the single most important thing to change? For me, um, it would be the building of motorcycles. I would try to get as much built in the United States as possible. I'd be looking for companies that can build the parts that I'm outsourcing. I would be trying to open up plants in the United States and I would double down on Harley-Davidson being like that American brand that everybody knows, everybody loves, everybody has a passion for. Um, that would be what I would, I would aim to do with the company. But what about you? What would you change? What would you do? I know a lot of you are going to be, I would make the motorcycles um, cheaper. Okay. How, how would you do that? Like what, well, I mean, because making stuff in the United States is expensive. So like my plan to make more stuff in the United States probably doesn't make the motorcycle cheaper. And, you know, can't take a big hit in earnings because, you know, all of the, the shareholders and the board members aren't going to accept that. So you can't really cut profits. They're already used to X amount of profit. Um, so how do you increase profit? Um, maybe by increasing sales. Uh, do the sales increase if it's all American made? I don't know all the answers. But... Um, I am curious to see what all of you guys would do. Like, um, we can we can always complain, right? And there's always something wrong. Um, and we've talked about all of the problems they have right now. So let's talk about all of the things that could be done to fix it. What are your ideas? What uh, could what could current Harley do if they were to read all the comments on this video? Tell them what they could do to either earn your business back um, or keep you as a satisfied customer. 
Um, I am super curious to see all the answers to this. And do me a favor, guys. I don't ever ask you guys to share my videos, but share this video because I want to know. I want to know what everybody's thoughts and opinions on this are. Um, I think this is for the Harley world is an important is an important subject. Um, I'm sure it's important for all motorcycle companies out there. So if anybody from Indians watching this, Honda, Yamaha, whatever, you guys might want to read these comments. These are motorcycle people that ride them, love them, and, um, you know, want the absolute best for their favorite motorcycle company, their motorcycle brand, and just for the overall lifestyle of riding motorcycles. So what would you guys like to see changed? Um, not like this video is going to do anything to actually enact the change. So I'm not expecting anything big here, but I am curious to hear what all of you guys um, think. What are your opinions? How can Harley Davidson make Harley Davidson great again, for lack of better words? Please don't get political. Um, you know me well enough to know that there are two things that I do not like to talk about. I do not like to talk about politics, and I do not like to talk about religion. So if you can leave those out of there, yes, I am sure there are political landscapes that could change and probably help out the company. Well, let's just say that is not on the table for this discussion. So what can they do, non-political, non-religious, to like I said, earn your business back, make motorcycles great again, um, whatever that may be. Um, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'm gonna do a follow-up video because I'm, I'm gonna post these questions on our Facebook and everything as well. I will do a follow-up video um, with all of your answers, or at least most of the answers, um, or the best answers anyway. I don't know if I can do a video that includes every one of your answers but i will do my best to include um your answers so give me the answers i will tally them up over the next day or two and then i will put them in a video just like this that uh, states what you guys feel like could solve all the problems for the motorcycle industry as a whole for harley davidson and any other company that you think should do some changes i mean name the company and say what you would like to see changed uh, i'll put that in my video anywho that's it guys i'm gonna go eat with the family and uh isn't this a pretty backdrop like, i'm just hanging out in the backyard at a picnic table just enjoying misery and uh, hope that i see you guys again tomorrow bye